Today we're gonna expand the backyard garden even more with the biggest in-ground bed I've ever built and we're gonna use this massive load of compost. Compost delivery, baby, four yards. Okay, so I've got this Baxter thing, I put a carpet down and we're backing it in. This is the free compost from the Miramar landfill. It's probably gonna overflow this, but I just wanted to get it off the ground, off the concrete and not stain it if possible. In we come. All right. It begins. Ooh, it's in my face. So we filled up this Baxter thing, but the dump trailer's battery died. So he swapped out his car battery with the trailer battery, and we're gonna see if it dumps. I put this little cardboard, or this carpet down, just so I don't wanna stain the concrete. It's gonna take a while to move all of this mulch. So we'll see how it goes. Let's get this dumping. The moment of truth. There we go. Where's the big moment? There's one. <laughs> there we go. It's still stuck up in the top, look. <laughs> so we got two Baxters full, and there goes the rest of it right there. Alrighty. Okay, so Jacques and I, who is now holding the camera, we are just gonna fill this entire back area with the compost. It's a little heavy. Or, sorry, not a little heavy, it is heavy, but it's a little hot. And so it's kind of nice because this is gonna be the tomato and pepper area. So all we're gonna do is maybe broad fork it in, maybe just fork it in a little bit, definitely water it in, but we'll let it sit for a little bit because you know if you touch it, it's quite hot. I would say maybe like, what, what do you think, Jacques? Like 130 degrees Yeah, or I'd say at least that. Yeah, so anyways, that's what's gonna happen right now. So we have enough compost, at least for now, to try to smooth it out and just roughly form up the bed. There's a lot of mess actually around this. So the cardboard graveyard is here. The sloppy compost pile is here. At some point we will shift that into the corner of the lot, but right now I just wanna see how much we dumped, how it will fill over this space roughly. And we've got, let's see, the bow rake, fantastic tool. And then we have a broad fork from Treadlight which actually I got when I was at the old Epic Garden, like way back in the day, but obviously not a lot of applications to use it there. But here it's gonna be fantastic. And so what I'm gonna do is just start smoothing this out. Okay, broad fork time. Usually I would do this just to loosen up the soil and not disrupt it, but we already disrupted it because we cleared this whole area out of Bermuda grass. And so I'm just going to kind of go hard with it and mix it all in. We want to incorporate at least some of the compost into the soil. Um, so this is actually kind of fun job. This takes time. So the bed is more or less formed up. Obviously there's some improvements to be made. We're rocking the straw hat. All we want to do now is just cardboard down the pathways. That's been our technique is just throw some cardboard down, throw some chips on top, is it a perfect solution? No, but it will hold things back for long enough to make a difference at least. So we'll cardboard this up, probably cardboard around that side at least for now, and just get a basic form on this bed. And we've got our summer backyard in-ground garden formed up and ready to go. Take a look at just how tidy that looks. I mean, come on now. It's so much better with this mulch, so much better. And so what we did, as you guys saw, is if you brush this away, you will see some cardboard here, and that's gonna keep it down for long enough to, to matter. You know, it'll it'll give us a little bit of freedom from weeds. So we're just beating it back slightly. But look how large this bed is. I mean, this bed is probably as big as the old Epic Garden. We got that peaceful bench over there. We've cleared this out just a little bit. And now I'm gonna tell you what we're doing in this bed. So welcome to the new Epic Seedling Table, and I will make a video on that if you guys want it. But we've got some peppers, we have all the tomatoes that we've started, as well as the peppers we started. These are a little young right now. And then some of the tomatoes that we started earlier that have been potted up, as well as some tomatoes that I picked up at Tomato Mania, which are some, I don't know, just sort of random rare ones that I've never grown. Socolades, brown berry, kind of interesting. Long Tom, I got this one just because it's literally a very long tomato. Uh, we got Momotaro Gold, I like to grow Japanese varieties. Amethyst Cream, Beauty King, and a couple over here that I grew myself. 
This one is a super tomato. So this one is supposed to have a truss with about a hundred tomatoes coming down. But all those tomatoes are going in the new back plot. So back here in this bed, we're gonna do the bigger summer crops. So in this front row here, I'm gonna be doing the peppers. Like I said, 18 to 20 different varieties. Back here, we'll be doing the tomatoes using three different trellising methods. So I'll use the Florida weave, we'll do the lower and lean style, and then we're gonna test out a connector kit from Gardner Supply Company right in the middle there. I just wanna show you guys different options, different budget sizes, how you can get a beautiful tomato patch done. And then of course, there's probably gonna be more space, even though I have about 25 tomatoes that I'd like to grow. So so we'll pepper in some other summer things like okra or eggplant, that type of thing. By the way, check it out. The apricot is blooming. This might be the only fruit tree I get a lot off of because it was here when I actually moved in. But man, does the garden not look so good in the backyard right now? And a little treat for you guys here on the homesteading channel. You get a sneak peek. Look at that, that's wheat. It's gonna be growing in this little patch. I'm gonna try to grow my own bread. I also installed this little bench that I'm chilling on. And let me tell you this, the view is pretty nice. We've got our nice large bed here. We've got our giant bean right there. We've got the mulch pile. Sun's coming in. Things are looking really good. That's it for today's episode. Peace out guys. Good luck in the garden and keep on growing.